it's the king king j back with another video you know i like leo as a character i played leo in tekken 7 leo's back in tekken 8 and yeah i wanted to just teach you the basics with the character i've got some notes down here and yeah i think the character is a mix-up character you can play leo safe then when you want to come in and do mix-ups you actually can so i'm just going to show you a few of the key moves and i hope that i can help you in some way all right so let's get into it uh let's get to select the character and get into it here we go leo as we said now so yeah obviously leo has stances and then leo has like an install where leo key charges and then gets additional moves it's called lightning glare let me make sure that i'm correct with saying what i just said is it called lightning glare Let's go down, lightning clear. It is. Cool. So I'm alright with that. Alright. So first things first, we wanna take as we send her to the center of the stage. 1-4. New addition. If you come from Tekken 7, 1-4. Um now goes into stance. Jin Jinji Duly. Jinji Duly. So then you've that you get like stuff from the stance, but I'll tell you about the stuff from that stance afterwards. You've got the new addition, which is 424. And, and you could do 424 and press down forward. So crouch dash. Back 1 4 is still in the game. But you also have back 1 1 plus 2, which is only minus 9. So you can throw this move out. Down back 2 as well. Down back 2 4. But both moves are minus 9. But remember it's a bit high so be careful you got down forward one down forward one two so you could you know check your opponent see if they're doing mids and it's already minus one but not great tracking down forward one two but obviously the second it's is a high so be careful so you can throw this out if you think someone's gonna press buttons so that's the way how you would use it you also have down two plus four on block and you got down down one as well, but you lose your turn. You could do down one and stay in crouch. It's for like, I don't know, if you want to do like while standing moves. You have course circle forward two one. You have course circle forward two four, which is the new addition. That's mid high. And then you have a couple other moves. Uh, up forward two one. Uh, back four. 3-1, you could go down to go into, they call it Bok, everyone used to call it Bok Stance, but now it's called a different name, it's called Fubo, Fubo, so I just got to make sure that you lot know that I'm not like trying to confuse you lot's brains or anything like that, hold on, Fo Fobu, Fobu, yeah, so you could do back 3-1, go to Fobu, or back 3-1, sorry, back Free one and go back into this stance as well. Jin, Jin, Jinji, Jin, Jinji Dooley. Sorry, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a tongue twister. That one is. Four forward, uh, a four one plus two, as well. So on counter hit, let's show it on counter hit. So it does that. Right? And then 4 4 4 3. Same stuff as before. So, even when you do forward, uh, forward 4 by itself, you can now get a combo. Uh, you get, you've got back 4 1 plus 2. And you can cancel by holding down. But back 4 1 plus 2 would be great against the wall because it wall splats. And then you also have up forward one two and then when you hit you get the lightning glare you can press one plus two on hit but we'll talk about that afterwards uh launchers down forward two is a good one uh up forward four is a good one and the evasive uh kick down back three is a good one and then you've got down back four as well counter hit
And then you also have Fubo 2. And then you have the lows, which is down four, core soccer forward one, and down back four. Down down back four you, you can use to create space. So if you're like moving around and you and you don't you don't want anyone to be close, you could just do this. Because if they counter hits like I showed you, you get a full combo. So that's what you're banking on, it's a full combo. So you tornado attacks is uh, up forward one one. Forward three plus four, down forward one two, and and up one. So I'll just show you quickly, just how they look in action. One, two, so yeah, those are the tornado attacks, and then we have moves that go into lightning glare. So lightning glare, you could use one side one plus two and press one plus two on here. You could do four, four, two and press one plus two on here. And then you could do up forward, up forward one, two and press one plus two on here, right? So also, if you want a homing move, down four three is a good homing move. Doesn't have that much range like it did in Tekken 7, but it's still it's still there. So now in Lightning Glare, you have 4243. You also have back 312, which is the classic. And then you also have down back 412. Uh, down, sorry, down back four, uh, down back four, one, one plus two. Now, it's this one was different because you never used to have a shoulder barge in Tekken Seven, but they, now they've got like the shoulder barge at the end of that. And again, just a bit more on lightning glare. Uh, this stance was basically in Tekken Seven. You used to be able to do like four, four, two, and then key charge, and then Leo would be, you know, it will kind of be like it's a risk. Leo can be counter hit for anything. Leo does because Leo's in the ca uh, the key charge state, which is always counter hit. But you get big damage reward, or big, you get to get counter hit on everything, can it? Right. Now with lightning glare, you you can block. It doesn't matter. And when you go into heat, you've got lightning glare the whole time. So you could be doing forward forward two four three, and then back four uh, back three one two. So you get two chances, right? So he engages are down back two down back two four. Let me just get it off block. Down back two four. One. Back two one plus two. While standing four while standing four one plus two. Uh block one plus two. Jinji Dooley, uh, one, two. And while Leo is in heat, you could do anything lightning glare, but also Leo has two heat smashes. So the heat smash here is the one standing. And that's that one, it starts off as a mid. And then this one is when you're in Jinji Dooley stance, which you could do forward four. Uh, let me do that one more time. You could do forward four into heat smash button. So yeah, in terms of command grabs, Leo has up forward one plus two. It's no longer four four one plus two in Tekken seven, and this throw is good when you are at the wall. When your back is against the wall, you would want to use this throw. So we'll do switch position, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So around this side, if you if you could do this, a little bit, I'll say that's a bit too far. Oh, you can just do up. Oh, sorry, it's up one, up one. It doesn't splat as how it used to. It used to splat from far before. 
72, man. So it's quite a bit of damage. So you used to split from far before, but I think they changed it in this game. The distance of how far you could that throw goes. So you could do... If I'm lazy, up forward 2-1. That's pretty much, like, Leo is very, very strong character. Very, very strong, in my opinion. Very, very strong character. And obviously, Leo's two stances, you, like, they're not really hard to get used to. Like, obviously, Leo has forward four. So, forward four is the Jinji Dooley stance, right? So, forward four, two, which on counter hit. I'm not trying to do that, sorry. So, on counter hit. It knocks you down, but stun knocked down. And then, see one more time. You've also got the kicks, the double kicks. Or if you feel like they might, they might even just like press or anything like that. I don't know. And like, you, it's, I would sometimes you could use both. Like one does not uh, do the tornado, whereas two does. Right. And then you have three plus four, which is the low sweep. And then you also have four, but you could do this and go four and then press down forward. So it'll make you into this crouch stance state. Just do it again. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I did obviously the stuff from Boko Fobu two, it would be one, two. That does tornado. Home this homing, this homing high, which on block does ship damage. From from that starts as well. You could go four into crouch dash. But yeah, this move is a really good move. So yeah. This is for like got being evasive reasons. And then that back freezer is super evasive as well. So yeah, other than that, hope you enjoyed this. This has been your boy King J. Uh if you do want to learn Leo, Leo's a good character. Like I said, Leo's got trick or trades on a lot of things. So and a lot of moves as well compared to the rest of the characters. So you can learn a lot. And Leo has two stances. So other than that, it's been your boy King J signed out. Remember to subscribe and enjoy the streams leave a comment for your you know engagements order emojis i will be on to the next one peace